Well, um, I was asked to talk about challenges, risks, and ethical issues of uh, electronic communication within web to zero hype, um, a question which could uh, bring up the question, what has all that to do with the business you want to do here? Well, give me some moments and let's find out. Uh, traditional organizational structures are very top-down organized because it comes from the military uh, history that there is one who knows how it runs and so he must direct the soldiers, the battle group or whatever to do the right thing. This was uh, good and it was effective in a simple structured world. But things has changed. The world becomes more and more complex, it becomes more and more differentiated, more and more mobile. Things changed as we all are faced all the time and as we have seen just before in this brilliant presentation. So the time where the leaders were the big, big experts, where experts know everything and where experts can give uh, the direction and know how to do and what to do are more or less, I'm terribly sorry, but over. Experts are not the leaders anymore, but experts should normally act in a way to be mirrors. So, what does that mean? <laughs> Well, there's, certainly there's no contradiction. I, uh, the, the main thing is, how can um, small and middle-sized enterprises train their, um, their sensitivity to uh, become able to adapt themselves uh, to the specific uh, needs of the customers or of the staff? Um, there are different instruments like, well, the techniques of the corporate social responsibility, for example. Uh, this co doesn't concern immediately the customers, but the, the area around the partners. Um, there is the customer care management, for example, um, critics management. So if, if any customer is not satisfied and he gives it a manage, uh, the, 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 the message, this is the most important gift a customer finally can give you because then you know exactly what is wrong. A customer who is satisfied, who doesn't say anything, you don't know anything about him. So the more critics you get, the more feedback, the more you can adapt yourself. And finally concerning the, the uh, inner culture, the business culture, uh, how you treat your, your staff, your employees, uh, there are team building strategies, workshops, um, and it helps a lot if you're doing this, well, at least um, every two years or so, just to bring up uh, the main problems, what, what is disturbing the people, how can you handle it. And this gives the, f the people a feeling of being integrated, of taken seriously, and this is a much more important motivation than any, well, higher money at the end because the people feel respected, and respect is one of the most important tools, certainly, yeah. I think the, the risk to fail is pretty high, because um, the world becomes more and more complex, it becomes more and more complicated, so the pressure on the individual to adapt becomes higher, there is a permanent high stress level. And to develop this culture of sensitivity and uh, responsiveness needs a lot of, uh, let me say, uh, free space for personal development. Uh, and this needs a lot of energy. So uh, why, 
why do so many uh, organizations, enterprises, businesses have so many problems with communication? Uh, why don't we succeed so good in um, establishing sustainability? This is because to change and to develop this communication style needs a lot of energy and it needs additional energy to stay on this high level. So I think the human being or a human person just is not programmed genetically to continue uh, to communicate on this very intense, emotionally sensitive level. So uh, I think we will have a certain development, but uh, it's certainly not the solution for everybody because it's difficult. Um, there is a, a very short and very um, impressive saying from the late 60s of the hippie time, love it, leave it or change it. Um, we can't change a lot the world around, the environment, but what we can uh, fundamentally change is how we see it. And uh, well, just to give you an example, um, to talk about business culture. Um, you can, you can talk with your boss, seeing him as somebody who is uh, authoritarian and uh, who just wants to make money and whatever. Or you can say, okay, this is a man who is trained to do so, but who is also in a need for, well, responsiveness, for, uh, for respect. And if you see him in a different way, then it helps you to behave in a different way and behaving changes the whole environment. I mean, this is also uh, this, this term of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, expecting something different from the environment creates a different feedback and leads to a changement of environment. Uh, the point is that um, society is so complex that we can't steer it or govern it uh, anymore in a, in a just in a way okay I want to go there I just have to do this and it leads directly to the result but we can we can irritate the environment we can uh, establish an influence and then look so what comes out and I think we have to change our, our whole culture more in the direction of okay let's do something and then wait what comes out Okay. Is this enough for you? Yeah. yeah. Also enough for you? Um, it will certainly be a key for marketing activities, but uh, for anything else, there doesn't exist any universal key for anything because the problems are too different, too complex. So it will be one instrument of many. Das ist